Today we are resurfacing and reseasoning this lodge pan. So I picked this lodge pan off offer up the other day for five bucks. And it's in pretty good shape, but I want to reseason it. So I want to like, gonna use the wire brush. We're gonna get it down to pretty much bare metal. And then we're gonna reseason it. And it'll have a smooth finish on the bottom. We're gonna start out, put some eye protection on. Oh, well, it's kind of dirty. Some gloves. Just protect the hands a little bit. And the wire brush. All right. So first we're gonna take this wire brush and we're gonna scrub the whole inside. All right, well we got it pretty much down to the bare metal. It's still got just a little black on it, but that that's okay. Now we'll go in. I'll uh, hose it off. We'll put it on the heat, dry it out, and then we'll start doing the seasoning process. Okay, so now we want to bring it into the sink and give it a good rinse. Get a good brushing with the brush. Don't ever wash it with soap though. You don't want to put anything in your pan that you cannot eat because it'll soak into the cast iron when it's hot. And then when you cook food into it, it'll leach into your food. And that's not a good thing. Okay, got it all rinsed off. So now immediately take a lint-free towel and dry it off or you'll start getting this stuff called flash rust and then you'll have to use vinegar and water to get that off. So give it a good drying. Okay, let's stick it over on the stove. All right, first we're gonna turn on the burner here and dry it off. Let's get some light on. You want to make sure it's 100% dried before we put the first coat on because if we put the coat on the water will be locked in there and it will not hold the seasoning. If there is moisture in it when you do your first seasoning coats you'll find that there'll be flaking bits of seasoning and then you'll just have to start over the whole process all over again. So make sure it's 100% dry. Drying out the pan will only take about two minutes. Now we need to just turn off this burner and we need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And you can see already just from drying on the burner, it's getting a uh, brown ring in the center. All right, we're gonna do this with avocado oil because it's a high heat oil and it'll, it bonds really good to the surface. So let's put our first coat in here, just a little bit in the middle. Oh, that's a lot. But it'll be all right for the first coat. First couple times is going to soak up a lot because you're down to the bare metal. Make sure you get every surface. Okay, while it's preheating, you can go ahead and just stick it in the stove. Okay, so it's in the oven and it's going to be in the oven now for about an hour on 400 degrees excuse me, on 350 degrees. And then after the hour, we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna re-season it again, all around, bottom, inside. Put it back into the oven, upside down to take it out. See what we got. It's gonna be hot and heavy, so be sure you have two mitts. And yeah, that looks really nice. I'm thinking just one more coat, and that should be good. So we did one coat at 300 degrees, the second coat at 450, and we're going to do this third coat at 450, and we're going to put it in for about another half hour, and it should be good to go after that. So let's get this one done. Remember, you can use any high heat oil you want. Oh, that was not good. Oh, well. Just take it and be sure you just rub it around, then layer everything. 
top bottom inside out handle really good put it back in the oven upside down on the top shelf and we're going to give it another half an hour and see what we got from there all right we're at the end of the half hour we'll turn it off we'll pull it out see what the third coat looks like yeah that looks nice three coats and it looks like a brand new pan almost All right, so the first coat was 300 degrees, the second coat was 450 degrees, and then the third coat was 450 degrees, and it turned out just about perfect. So, so that's how you strip and re-season a pan, a cast iron pan or skillet. And uh, yeah, if this video helped at all, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell so you can get all the videos as they come available. And be sure to share with all your friends. See you in the next.